I've, I come from a family, a big family, a family of eight, eight children, and um, five sisters and three brothers. And when I was in fourth grade, I went to a small rural school in Ireland, and um, when I was in fourth grade, some sisters came to visit, and they were telling us about their mission, and um, I had three aunties who were nuns too. So that's when I first thought about it. I said, now, I think, you know, I'd like to do that. And then I put it out of my mind all, you know, back fifth grade, sixth grade, all through high school. And then my senior year, my last year in high school, it, it came back to me. And that's when I decided, well, I'm going to have to give it a try. Mm -hmm. And I did. At 18, I entered the convent in Wexford, Ireland with the Presentation Sisters. And I spent three years there. We, we did a candidacy program, and then I was received into the novitiate, and I had two years novitiate. And at the end of that, I made my first profession. That's when I made my first vows. I committed myself. And after the, making my first vows, I was assigned to Mississippi. And I came over here in 1964, and I have been here ever since. In her 55 years of fulfilling her duties as a nun, she has been faithful to her godly mission. We are gathered today to celebrate Sister Mary's time with us, even as we may shed a few tears about her leaving. But we will try to be strong because she has taught us strength as well. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. I just would like to say that, again, how much I love the Gulf Coast and I love the people of Mississippi and that I feel honored and privileged that I've had the opportunity of living here for this many years. That it's been a true blessing in my life, a really blessing. And that I'm grateful to God and grateful to everybody who have touched my life in those 50 plus years. I'm very humbled by the way people receive me into their lives and into their homes and into their hearts. My overall would be gratitude and love and, and just to tell them they'll be forever in my heart. I've done a lot of shredding and a lot of discarding and a lot of getting rid of stuff, but the friendships and the love and, and the faith we have shared, the joys and the sorrows we've experienced together, these things will come with me forever. They'll, they'll never leave me. So. I want to tell them that they will be always in my heart.